guys welcome to my channel so on today's tutorial or rather tonight's tutorial i'll be talking on how we can save leave view data for offline purposes or recycler view data for offline purposes and we're also going to be editing json so we are going to in my previous tutorial i've told us on how we can read so today i'll show us on how we can edit json in sketchway so thanks for joining me on this tutorial and at the end of this video you can comment on your doubt on this particular topic then i will be quick to respond so the first thing i did from the continuation of our previous project i'll drop the video link of the previous project in case previous tutorial in case you are just joining us it's good you follow us up by watching the previous video so you follow us up by watching the, the previous video so in my previous video i showed on how we can read the data but now i'm going to show on how we can save the data so when we have received the data from our website or we will be able to read the data from five parts we i then create a shared preference called file so file file and file so then we come down we see set data block we name it data this key please always remember the name is data then we come to operate operator under operator we will look for this map to json string block not map but list map then we will select our list map and the list map will be the same list map that we are using for our list view or recycler view Then in our own create, if for instance users up their internet before opening the app, not like Play Store, if you want to go to Play Store, so if you off your internet, it will still show you previous data. So now using that line of code, when this data has been received, we have already saved it. So even though they are coming next time and they off their internet, the data will still appear, whether or not they are connected offline, or online, or whatever. So this we save the data, the list view data for offline purposes in a shared preference in JSON form. So I use well, I'm going to first before getting the key, I'm going to check if if not if not If not equals to as if our shared preference is not empty so if it's not empty if the string is not empty please remember I use the data in setting the, in saving the file in saving our list view so if this data we're going to get before we use set now we are getting data from that data if it, the data is not empty then we'll pass the data to our list map using this is our JSON block. We're going to convert the data because we previously converted the data to JSON. We're going to convert it back to list map back using this green block, the second green block. Then we set our adapter. So let's take a look at this example in our sketch way. When I enter the app for the first time to show me blank data. So now I'm going to load the data. So now let me close the app so even if my internet is off even if my internet is off and i come to the app to show me the data bit of the internet so that is it we have saved the data for offline so moving on i'll show us on how we can edit edit data so now let's edit data so how can we edit data in this view? 
or rather updating data so this is how we're going to do it okay this is my edit test my edit test I had an edit test one so I'm going to do on text change so whenever I change a text it will change a data let's say I want to edit this number two I want to change it to sketchly so this is what I will do This is what I'll do. The second position in a list view is always one. The first position is zero. So array list is zero, one, two, nine. That is number nine is actually the tenth item. So since it's the tenth item, the value the value is what I write in my D text. The key. The key is like our previous video. Editable, editable until, editable until. So I'm going to set adapter. So I'm going to set adapter. Sorry for that. I'm going to set adapter. And I'm also going to save it. If I want to save it, I can save it for offline purposes using that our shared preference. Using our shared preference data. Miss Mom. So now let's compare our app. IPK is building. Okay, so now we first load our data. We're going to load our data. So after our data has been loaded, I want to change this to sketchly. So you can see as I'm writing is updating. I'm writing is updating. So as I'm writing is updating, even if I close the app, if I close the app and come back. If I close the app and come back, it's that same sketch that you see that will appear here. So that is all. I will be sharing this project on Sketchly app. You can support me by subscribing, sharing this video, and commenting. Thanks for, what, for watching this video as I take you on an adventure on how to increase our programming expertise on Android. Thanks once more. Please subscribe.